I'm Lauren Ritchie from Waffle TV, sponsored by Bulmers, and today I'm with the director and cast of The Sunset Five. How are you guys today? Good, thank you. Good, thank you. Thank you very well. So, your show is described to be a bit like Hot Fuzz and Ocean's Eleven. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's about a... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Pop quiz team do casino heist, is the tagline. So, it's about a, a group of very ordinary um, misfits who go about doing a... Um, pulling off something extraordinary so it's kind of in that sense it's quite like a sort of Simon Pegg movie in the sense it deals with ordinary people and they're doing something they're putting a kind of an, um, an unbelievable scenario it yeah. takes a big kind of a big American Hollywood style setup uh, and then puts it in a very local small town English place and, uh, and that's where we are we're in East Anglia in a town called Chitworth which doesn't exist in real life what inspired the idea of it? we were watching Ocean's Eleven yeah. And, uh, <laughs> we and then Hot Fuzz. Yeah, well, a year ago, a year ago at the Fringe, we were doing our last show, Inheritance Blues, and Ocean's Eleven was on in the flat, and we were just sat there quite late at night, and we just said, "Should we do a heist play? Heists are fun." Um, and then, kind of very quickly, someone came up with a pub quiz, and I think it came as well from the idea of normal people doing extraordinary things. That you know, when faced with adversity, people can really go for it and. and and succeed. I think that's something we wanted to capture. Yeah, it's also a nice. It's also a nice comic. Uh, sort of nice. Uh, it offers a lot comedy-wise that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, and I think also we knew knew we kind of come to the conclusion that tonally we wanted as a company to just make something that was sort of unadulteratedly fun. Mm. We didn't. We kind of got hung up a bit with a, with a previous show about making it. Should we be profound? Should we not? And it, so we we just we recognise that what we actually do best is you know comedy plays with live music. Jolly romps, you know what I mean? And this, this show is very much unapologetically a kind of a caper, sure, you know, a, yeah. a fun caper. Uh, so the comedy is quite old-fashioned, would you say? Kind of like the old heist. Uh, to a point. I mean, there is there is slapstick in there. There's, yeah. there's some slapstick. There's some some puns and some wordplay. But I think the stuff that isn't so old-fashioned is the kind of meta humour. There's a lot of fourth wall poking, if not breaking. If occasionally it does get broken, yeah. uh, and we do kind of subvert a lot of the cliches and tropes of Absolutely. heist movies. It's very relatable to things you've already seen and yeah, yeah. would know about. So, yeah. yeah, yeah, well, it's fun. It's it. Um, I suppose it does what uh, what uh, Sean of the Dead did to the zombie genre. You know, we've taken the highest genre and kind of, yeah, um, pastiched it. So you're back to the friend. So you've done it before. What keeps bringing you back? Oh, good question. Well, the audience are brilliant. <laughs> we, we love the audience. Yeah. We love the vibe, and also it's a really good. It's a really good litmus. Uh, uh, Lingard actually asked us in an interview that whether we um, made work to suit people at the fringe. Or, or whether our work, you know, we already kind of had made work, happened to make work that was was, was appealing. And actually, it's it's the, it's the latter. We do, we happen, as I said, we, we uh, tonally we like comedy plays, live music, and they just happen to go down well here. Mm. And you know, it's a good litmus test for your work because word of mouth is the biggest thing, and the quality of our shows tend to stand up to that, and we get people through the door, and it's great. You know, it's really fun. The, yeah. So why should we see your show? Because it's. A great fun way to spend an hour. The Edinburgh Fringe is in a fantastic slot. It's 5.40 in, in the Queen Dome. It's a great time to maybe have your first drink of the evening and see something really quite light-hearted but also exciting. And, you know, it's, a, it's an incredibly fast-paced show. Yeah. And just, you know, kick your evening off with a bang. Okay. So I think it's, the, actually it's quite inventive as well. There's, yeah. you know, without, just with six stools, six microphones, a loop pedal and a few instruments, we kind of go to multiple worlds. And it's kind of, I think it's very imaginative. And, um, yeah, I think it's, it's interesting if people are interested in how theatre's made and stuff. Well, thank you so much for talking with us today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And this has been Waffle TV.